Good afternoon. My name's Simon Hayward and I'm a physiotherapist working up at Blackpool Victoria Hospitals. Today I'd like to present to you our abstract submission entitled An Exploration of Respiratory Physiotherapist Experiences of Lung Ultrasound Adoption in Critical Care. If you'd like access to the full paper, please use the QR code on the screen now. Otherwise, don't hesitate to get in touch with me. So lung ultrasound is gaining popularity amongst respiratory physios as a imaging modality that will help us assess the lungs, guide our intervention selections, and also monitor the efficacy of those interventions on our patients. However, the ability of respiratory physios to adopt this technique into their clinical practice is influenced by many different factors. So the aim of our study was to explore the experiences of individuals who have begun to adopt or attempted to adopt lung ultrasound into their clinical practice with a view to inform others wishing to follow in their footsteps about the barriers and facilitators that they may experience. We used semi-structured interviews to explore and capture the varied experiences of eight senior respiratory physiotherapists. Findings from our previous published national survey were used to inform both the participant selection process and also the interview questions. Um, interviews took place over the telephone, were digitally recorded and transcribed verbatim. The transcribed data was then thematically analysed to pull out key themes. Five main themes emerged from the interviews. The overall support for physiotherapists adopting and potentially using lung ultrasound was good. Although there was a little bit of hesitancy reported from the participants from their managers that were a little bit unsure about the processes they needed to follow. Knowledge and understanding of lung ultrasound evidence was good, although there was an acknowledgement that within physiotherapy this is emerging and that we will be reliant on some of the information produced from our medical colleagues. Plenty of issues around governance and the structures that need to be in place to allow lung ultrasound to be adopted by physiotherapists. And certainly there's ongoing work in this area. That the physiotherapist's motivation to use lung ultrasounds was threefold. That their own personal development, learning something that is new to them. Their professional development, so incorporating a new technique into their practice and then benefit that it could and hopefully will be shown towards the patients that they care for. And finally, the resources need to be carefully managed so that uh, any opportunities to learn lung ultrasound and adopt it into practice are converted into clinicians that are able to use it for the benefit of their patients. So in conclusion, enabling factors such as the support from other members of the critical care team, allowing physiotherapists to explore and begin to adopt lung ultrasound into practice. The personal and professional motivations of the clinicians to enhance their skill set, as well as the emerging evidence around how lung ultrasound could target and improve patient care. But there are certainly barriers. Main ones include access to training, access to mentorship, access to the equipment, the machines used to do the technique. Um, there needs to be some more clear guidance around the governance uh, and this will hopefully support some of the managers that are a little bit reluctant to allow their physiotherapy clinicians to go and adopt this into practice. But lung ultrasound did begin to show potential for the profession, enhancing our skill sets, allowing us to do more targeted assessments, targeted treatment choices, and then monitoring those treatment choices moving forwards. So if there are any clinicians or managers that wish to discuss some of these topics with regards to adopting and implementing lung ultrasound into their own practice or that of their teams, please do use the contact information on the screen to get in touch and I will help you as best I can.